Hey, Damien here from Cloud Technology Experts. In this video, I'd like to share with you how to create a Kubernetes deployment. But first of all, let us understand what is Kubernetes deployment. Kubernetes has several levels of abstractions. The basic abstraction is a pod. A pod abstracts containers, just as we've discussed in one of my previous videos. However, most of the time, you don't want to work with lower level abstractions. It is more productive to work with higher level abstractions. And so, deployment object is a higher level abstractions on top of pod. As a matter of fact, we start with containers, then we move to pod, then we move to replica sets or, or replication controllers, and then we move on to deployment object. So, once we create a deployment, our deployment object will contact a replica set to make sure that our containers or pod are always up and running. Then our replication controllers will in turn manage the pods and the pods will manage the containers. So deployment objects perform streaming functions. Number one is monitoring. In other words, if you schedule five pods to be up and running, Deployment objects will ensure that you always have five pods running. Deployment objects perform this responsibility through replica sets. Deployment objects will contact replica sets and then the replica set will ensure that you always have five pods running. Second, deployment objects helps with scaling of your application. So for example, if you have three pods currently running, deployment objects can help you to scale from three to five. And thirdly, Deployment objects helps with upgrade of your application. So if you have application version one running and you want to upgrade to application version two, you can use deployment object to upgrade the image. For these three functionalities, monitoring, scaling, and upgrade, I will show you how to perform these activities from the CLI. To demo these functionalities, I already have a YAML file created for deployment object. So this is the file. So this is, a st this is a standard manifest file for Kubernetes. We have the API version. We have the kind, which is a deployment object. Then we have some information about the deployment object. For example, we have the name as deployment example. Then we have the spec. We're going to create four replicas. And then we are going to label this uh, elaborate Nginx. In the spec for the containers, we're going to use Nginx container. And the version of the Nginx is 1.9.2. When this is running, it will be running on port 80. And then we also specify some resource limit for this uh, pod to utilize. So that is what we have here in this uh, manifest file. So we're going to use this file to create a deployment object. And the first now demo to you is the monitoring of Kubernetes deployment object. So let's create it. kubectl create minus f deploy one.yaml. We wait for it to be created. So now we can do kubectl get part. And we have four replicas that are running. Let's see the replication controllers. We do kubectl get replication controllers. So we have the replication controllers configured to be running for desired for current and for ready. So let's try to delete one of the pods and see what happens. kubectl delete pod. We copy one of these and we press enter. Now it's deleted. So let's get replica set. See, it's back to four. Now if we do get part, see, we have four running, even though the, the last one we terminated is still being deleted. So if you run that again, that is, the, the, it's been deleted, but we still have four parts running. So that is the monitoring aspect. As soon as you delete one of the parts, the replica set will ensure that that part is replaced. And remember, deployment object contacts replica set and the replica set takes control of doing the monitoring of the pod. So let me show you the second aspect. 
The second aspect is going to be the scaling. To do that, let's do kubectl scale minus minus replicas equals six. Let's scale from four to six. So we're scaling a deployment and the name of the deployment is deployment example. Okay, so we there's a typo, we have to do replicas. All right, so it's been scaled. So let's do kubectl get pod. See, now we have six pods running. If we do get, get replica set, we have that replica set. Uh, six is now the deployed replica set. And if we do get deploy, we have six deployments also created. So now you see how to scale your deployment from any number to another number. Here we scale from four to six. In the third example, I'm going to show you how to upgrade your application from one version to another version. Before I do that though, let me try to describe the deployment we have so you can see the image version that we have currently. So we can do kubectl describe deployment deployment example okay so if you come up here you see that we're running engineers version 1.9.2 so we're going to upgrade this image to a more current version of nginx so we do kubectl set image deployment deployment example nginx equals nginx 1.9.9 okay so now we can do kubectl get a replica set so you see what is happening here when you try to do an upgrade uh, a deployment object will ensure that your your application is currently running so it doesn't just delete the old image and then uh, create the new ones. It tries to do a kind of a gradual upgrade from the previous version to the new one so that you can maintain application continuity. So that is why we see here that is moving them from the old deployment to the new deployment object. So if you now do kubectl, well the command, see now everything has been moved from the previous to the new and now we have our application running with a new image. To, to sh show that I will do kubectl uh, describe deployment uh, deployment example and we can see that a new image is now 1.9.9 so we have been able to upgrade our image from 1.9.2 to 1.9.9 so I've shown you how to do three things first is the monitoring of your application with deployment object and secondly it is the scaling of your application from X number to Y number, for example, from four nodes to six nodes. And finally, I showed you how to upgrade your application using a deployment object. So you can see that a deployment object is a basic level of object that you want to be working with in um, Kubernetes. You don't want to work with um, pod because that would be too low level. And instead of using a replica set to monitor your pods, you will rather create a deployment and then the deployment object will indirectly manage your replica set as well as your pod. Uh, I hope you like this video. Uh, if you do, please remember to subscribe by pressing the button below and then also to come back frequently for more videos uh, like this one. Again, it's Damien from Cloud Technology Express and thank you for watching.